So I'm here at the World Economic Forum with Fadi El Barouti of Jordanian company Curlstone Studios. Hi, Fadi. Hi. How are you? Good. So, Fadi, when you started Curlstone Studios, what is the gap in the market that you saw? Um, generally speaking, there are lack of Arabic content out there um, on TV, uh, uh, web, and mobile. Most of the uh, content that we see these days are basically imported and. Um, Kernstone came as an answer for one question, why don't we have a cartoon series or uh, an idea that actually relevant to our culture? So, uh, and why don't we have superheroes of our own? We've been always watching um, Superman, Spider-Man and all of the other heroes that, that are coming from the States and from Japan, uh, especially in Japan, and we don't have a, a superhero to relate to. So, Kernstone came an answer for that. I see. And how did you um, go about creating a solution for that? What what um, products have you created? Um, so far, we started with the, a short movie called Once Upon a Star. Um, it's it's on our official website, and we won um, an award uh, in 2010 as the best 3D environmental movie um, from Germany. Um, and then. Um, we created two IPs for uh, local for for the, the local uh, Jordanian market. Um, they were disputed uh, um, on, on mobiles, but now our aim is basically to go for uh, TV. So uh, we created now two new IPs that we're trying to uh, uh, produce. Actually, yeah. is there any reason you're going back to TV instead of mobile? Who are you targeting? Um, TV is still so far be well. Um, web. Mobile are basically a very uh, rich platforms, but still TV is, is like uh, the most popular medium for, uh, for uh, cartoons. Um, and uh, basically we went back to TV because what we say in Kernstone that we are basically producing cartoons for many platforms. So basically we don't actually target just TV, we target all of the uh, mediums. Um, also in comics, uh, merchandise and stuff like that. So. That's, that's, that's why we went to TV again. I see. And what have your biggest challenges been? Uh, well, my, my biggest challenge, of, or, or actually Kernstone challenge, is, is to get a co-production deal um, and basically sign with one of the distributors or one, uh, one um, major TV channel, like, uh, for example, NBC, uh, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, because without those channels, actually we have limited number of channels, children channels in, in the Middle East, that you can count them, count them on your fingers. Um, so my biggest challenge is to get our IPs through one of the TV channels, uh, the, these, uh, one of the most popular TV channels these days. I see, and has mentorship helped you with this? Um, so far, yes. But still, we cannot actually break uh, some barriers from basically um, the biggest uh, challenge that uh, we're trying to, to solve with our mentors is how to make Kernstone a credible uh, studio for the TV channels to trust. You know, because most of the TV channels, they sign uh, strategic partnership agreements with major animation studios that are really credible and have some references out there like they produced a very popular TV series and, and the, the, they have a fan base but Kernstones so far haven't actually produced anything that that's that what created the challenge of making Kernstone credible for TV networks so this is what we, we are working on these days I see so you're trying to crack into the market and get them to look at the smaller companies yes exactly and this is maybe, maybe this is a uh, or actually uh, this is one of the biggest challenges that any any startup might face is basically being credible because even in the ICT sector they're trying basically to break through to the big boys they're trying to play with, play with the big boys but they can't get through because there are other uh, what they call sharks like uh, um, um, they, they have to face some sharks you know so they have to have some credibility uh, in front of the uh, um, big uh, organizations and also on the other side um, the organizations have uh, or the big companies have to basically rec recognize the startups and give them some chance to break through not necessarily with, with big uh, projects but even trying the startups a bit by bit, they can basically break through and be a, a big organiza organization themselves. And you received mentorship from Oasis 500. Um, 
How, what do you think the uh, what do you think entrepreneurs need to in order to make this transition happen or to assist it? Um, well, actually, the best the best benefit that I got from the mentors through uh, Oasis 500 is uh, simply they taught us how to talk to uh, to the potential uh, customers because um, we have it in our minds but not in perspective. So they taught us how basically to communicate our idea and what we need exactly from the person that we are talking to, rather than you know just throwing ideas and for uh, ending a meeting with the client not knowing actually how they can help you. So the mentor or Oasis 500, just they put all of your ideas and skills in perspective. So you, you know how to talk to investors, potential clients, and even your employees or team members. So you know uh, what you, uh, what you they, they make you more focused, let's say. I see, and what do entrepreneurs in general need? Um, more than financials. First of all, they need financials to start uh, to basically uh, move on with their plans. But they need networking, okay? Rather than mentorship, mentorship is a very important factor here, but they need also networking. They need some connections for people, again, to go back to credibility where people actually, where they have uh, um, some access to the big companies. So they need th those introductions that can happen. And also Oasis made that happen. They're not, all, they're, they're not only doing mentorship or uh, investment. They introduce us to um, uh, our uh, targeted clients or maybe uh, angel investors, VCs, and they, they make the introduction and then it's really up to you to convince the investor or a client that you, are, that you have valuable service. I see. Well, thanks for sharing your ideas with Wanda. You're welcome. Thank you very much.